Then I saw a new heaven and a new bow. For the first heaven and the first bow had passed away. Gone was the pain and disillusion. Gone was the poor downtrodden prostitute stood on the street corner, skin barely clad with intendedly alluring attire. Gone was the prevailing pollution, marring and refuting the sparse would-be beauty of what little green spaces lay few and far between. Used needles, plastic crack pipes and less than clandestine condoms, all disposed of by disparate and desperate users. No more. No more were the poor. No further brokenness on display. Gone was the grey. Obstrusive and oppressive or imposing and impressive buildings no longer threatened and deadened the population of this place. All that passed away. I saw the holy place, the new bow, coming down out of heaven from God. Where once there lay a place where dreams could not be broken, for they never were made in the first place, now emerged a great beacon of light and an ecstatic explosion of sheer joy. Where soulless tower blocks once stood in hopeless motionlessness, now did the very bricks dance and the many structures burst forth life and colour. Where once the sound of angry, urgent sirens ruled the streets, now came the sound of silent moments standing only for pure, satisfied peace. Perfectly orchestrated, holy rest beats in a sublime symphony as one street did sing to another. Life and lights and colour. The new bow. A place now not of broken, but instead of open dreams. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. And so this desert of difficulty became instead an oasis of opportunity. This wasteland of aimless wandering became a fountain of fulfillment. Fed and led and nurtured by the Lord himself, these inhabitants had turned and knelt and postured their hearts towards him soften their hearts before him. Now instead of carrying small knives for use in violent threats of crimes, young people found their places alongside the old and took up tools to craft and construct and create for the sake of continual communal life. Now instead of feeling scared and lonely, lying crying lots away from the world in broken homes, these citizens lifted their heads high and strode the joy-filled streets in abandoned, celebrative tones. No more death, no more mourning. No more crying, no more pain. That was the old order, the old bow. All that had passed away. And so, we dare to dream and hope. And this is what we see. A place as grey and bleak as this can be restored eternally. Imagine those awesome occurrences happening here. That's what it looks like. So, ladies and gentlemen, will you dream with us? This heaven-sent new boat.